will not ask us what we were talking about. Yeah. yeah. Really, Obi? Get all this stuff off your desk. Get rid of the rat. Obi, it's on the rat. Okay, let's go. go. So, today's class is about rumors. Rumors. So, can someone tell me what is a rumor? Uh, yes, yeah, Charlotte, what rumors? Somebody tell me about rumors. Well, it's like when you're talking and people like don't know you're talking because you're like in a room and that's what makes them rumors. Um, very good, Charlotte. Very good. Um, yes. Oh, okay. Yes, Lexi. Oh, um, uh, Lexi says, once someone spread a rumor that Lexi, before he was gone, had mad cow disease, and Lexi didn't appreciate that. That, that, terrible that's rumor. Bad. Terrible rumor. That is really uh, Very sad. Who's next? Who's next? <sighs> yes, Yogi. Yogi. It's Obi. Right. And um, rumors are always very truthful, and they're often very kind. Okay, next. All right, how can we prevent rumors? Anybody, how can we prevent a rumor? Yes. You close the door to the room. Oh. That's, that's a good idea. <laughs> that is a good idea. That's smart. Yeah, that's one way of handling it. If you hear something bad, don't say it to anyone else. Oh, okay, very good. I think that's a good thing to do. Sue the people who make the rumors. Sue the people who make the rumors. That's There's a, okay. Oh, great idea. Uh, Karen. So to not have rumors in the first place. That's a good one. Wow, that was deep. <laughs> I, there, that would be nice. John? Don't talk to people. Just don't talk to people. That could be an option as well. Anybody else? Yes, Hokey Pokey. It's Obi. And, well, I think that if you have something bad to say about somebody, say it to their face. Yeah. I mean, I don't have a problem telling Karen that her outfit really sucks. Yeah, and I don't have a problem telling you you're really annoying. Well, you know, come on. Like, you know what? I, I, I can trust you. Really you're so nice. You're so trustworthy. I don't like you. He never says anything for me. And I was going to eat it. Well, Sorry to interrupt the party you have in here, but I'm Special Agent Foxberry of the FCBI. This is my partner, Agent Hound. We have a couple of questions to ask one of your students. Uh, this is room 306, correct? That's correct, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we're looking for a Eugene Metvik. Is he present today? Uh, yes, he is. Uh, class, take your seats, take your seats, please. Take your seats. Eugene oh, Sonny? Sonny? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he's definitely now, we do have reason to believe that you may have been involved in... Yes, yes, okay. Now, I do have reason to believe that you may have been involved in some illegal hacking scandal with the National Space Association. Is that correct, son? Oh, really? So we're confessing right away? That's just lovely. It makes my job much easier. Thank you very much. But if you can just get a confession officially on some paper in a room, that'd be very nice. All right, let's, uh, let's go up to the principal's office, I, I shall do we? A, I do a mean spotlight setup. You'll love it. It just looks perfect on camera. Oh, okay. Okay. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Probably. I thought he was just playing word ball. Told you I set up a good spot and I didn't I? Uh, now, sonny boy, you've been in some bad trouble, haven't you? Yeah, that's right, isn't it? Yeah, I think it was. Now, my report told me that I was looking for a student of your grade level, and uh, it told me I was looking for you, which seems I'm in the right place. Is that right? You are Eugene Metvik. I'm not being confused, am I? Good, because I do not like being confused. I don't like being accused of being confused. You understand that, boy? I'm going to take that as a yes. Now, I'm just going to have to take a quick second here. i got a quick lie detector app. It's a new thing the Bureau set me up with. Uh, if you don't mind just giving it a quick test speak, can you just say hello? <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite get that. Can you try that just one more time, Sonny? That'll have to do. Okay. Uh, I do need a connection. 
which I don't seem to have. Agent, how do you have a connection here? I don't seem to have anything. I have like one bar, and I need at least three. You don't, you don't think we could download it on your phone quick, do you? I'm sure you have a better connection here, and you have a school's Wi-Fi password, don't you? Actually, could you just give me the Wi-Fi password? That would make your uh, world easier. You don't remember? Or isn't that just convenient for you, isn't it? You know, we can do it without the lie detector. I'm a very good judge of character. Okay, so I don't really know what's going on with Eugene because, I mean, he's really smart, but, like, that's useful for anything. The real useful thing is all about the muscle and the bronze, like what Buck has. <laughs> so, have you done any uh, hacking lately, son? Computerized hacking? Not like that the stuff you do to trees or nothing. That's like for lumberjacks and such. And I'm wondering if you may have possibly uh, hacked into the International Space uh, Database. Is that correct, son? Oh, it is. Well, see, I'm wondering what the purpose of you doing that is. Because I just, I can't seem to clue in as to why a young boy of your age would want to hack into the International Space Database. You don't know. You don't know. That's very convenient. You know, we'll be out of here very quick. We'll be out of here maybe five minutes after a couple more questions. You'll go right to prison. Don't even worry about it. Now, uh, just a couple more. Agent Hunt, how are you doing on that sketch there? Oh, you get better at that every day. You know that? Very nice. Now, did you kill him? What? <laughs> we may have to... Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, Sonny. I do get my cases slightly mixed sometimes. Oh, oh, oh man. Oh. Oh, man, you know, we haven't been here very long anyways. You can stay a little longer, I think, before we ship you out and the handcuffs and all that such. Me and Darwin, we think that Eugene was feeding Marvin the phantom crackers. And they make Marvin hyper. And that's not good. Now, uh, if you could just give me a quick reason as to why you were hacking the space database, uh, it'd make my job a lot easier. The report takes hours to do, but that'd just speed it right up. You don't know. Well, thank you for making my day just a little harder, you know? Like, my son has a baseball game, okay? I gotta take him to that, and then my daughter has dance, okay? And her dance takes forever. I tell you, forever, boy. I gotta sit there through all the different performances. She's like the eighth one in line, and then I just see her do some little jigger thing, but I don't even understand how it works. If you could just give me a reason, this would just make everything a lot easier, okay? He's obviously getting arrested because he's been saying some creepy things to me on the internet. He's totally been stalking my fish book. I think he's in love with me and it's starting to be pretty weird, you know. Don't worry, I'll make sure you get you a fine new prison time. Hey, they got some nice ones this time of year, I tell you. Never mind your head, huh? One time, Eugene came at me with a spiked baseball bat. It was pretty serious, but I handled it like a pro. You know, I am famished. You want to stop at Denny's or something? Yeah! That sounds lovely. I would love to go for a night. Eugene! Eugene! Okay, so the other day I was opening my locker and this giant fork fell out of it. So I was thinking, like, Allie and... You know, like, Ali and Eugene have been talking lately, and she's kind of been suspecting this thing that's been happening with Darwin, and I don't know, I feel like they plotted something, and that's what happened. All right, class. Um, so, would anybody like to share their feelings about, uh, about what we went through today with Eugene? being arrested. Um, I know it was incredibly traumatizing for many of you. Um, so would anybody just want to share their feelings? It's, it's important to share. Um, yes, Harper? Jason, you know it's a Okay, let's not tattle. Remember, working on tattling. Jay, okay. Charlotte and Jay, fine, just there you are. Yes, Allie? Darwin says that the cops looked really cool. The cops did look cool. Oh, yes, they did. Uh, yes, yeah, Charlotte. Um, I would just like to know if anyone else is getting stalked by Eugene on the internet, or is it just me? I am. It's really creepy. Yeah, I think we're all happy he's gone. <laughs> yeah. Millie, you take that back. We are I'm not happy that he is gone. No, he's so annoying. You can go see the principal for that. March. 
March, leave your phone. Don't you have something for the principal? March. All right, so no rumors. No rumors. But you are not the type of class that would spread rumors, all right? So yeah. um, you need uh, to get out your math book so I can give you your assignment for tomorrow yeah, because I'm fun. going to be away. Mm -hmm. uh, there will be a supply teacher coming tomorrow, so get out your math books, please. Uh, Wait. No. Maybe she's going to assess school. Maybe she's going to die. Maybe she's going to die. She's not a super. Maybe she can predict. A facelift? Yeah. Oh, she's going to die. I know. Oh. Bye. 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 There are so many of us that you have yet to meet. When it's time for lunch, you can have a bite to eat. Cause that's what it's like in the classroom. Yeah! Before we start the program, we would like you to know we're gonna make your smile give a luminescent glow. So please sit back, please relax, and please enjoy the show. Cause you're watching 